Devin from Devin Lee Creations and we're going to be mixing up some tube paint today for paint boring. So the items you'll need are obviously your tube paint. You'll need some flood flow troll or other pouring medium. Flood flow troll is my favorite and what I highly recommend. Other people use glue or other brands of pouring medium, which are just fine. And if you need to thin out your mixture, thanks to Gina DeLuca, I have my 90% water to 10% Floetrol. And one thing I will say is you may need water to thin out your mixture. You always want to use distilled water so you avoid things like mold and other problems. So I have distilled water mixed in here with my Floetrol, just in case. To thin out your paints, you add water or your mixture of water to flow troll. And to thicken your mixture, you add more paint. A tip with your flood flow troll is always strain it into your cup so you can get all the goobers out and whatnot. And so you have a clean cup of flow troll. Otherwise, you'll be picking things out of your painting that you don't really want there. You don't want to have them there in the first place because it can mess up your painting. So to start with, I'm going to tell you my recipe. My recipe is two parts flow trawl to one part tube paint. And I'm going to show you what that means. So if we're working with a tablespoon, you'll do two tablespoons of flow trawl and one tablespoon of paint. So that's what we're going to do. So I always start with my flow trawl because not only does it help the paint slide off in the spoon, but it helps with mixing. If you put your paint in first, I find that it's harder to mix and get everything incorporated. So here we're going to do our two parts flow trawl. One. and two. Okay, so we have our first component and now we're going to add our phthalo blue. Here's our one part of paint. That's, that's about a tablespoon right there. If it's all evened out. So I'm going to slide that right in. Okay, and we're going to start mixing. Now at first it's going to be hard to incorporate, just keep going. You want to make sure to scrape your sides and bottom as you go to make sure you get all of the paint and all of the flow trawl combined. So you scrape your sides and your bottom, especially if you're using a cup that has a lip on the bottom. You want to make sure you get all the goodness. So get it all mixed together and incorporated. And this is too thick. The consistency we're going for today is a medium consistency, and that's where most of the paint pouring techniques lie. Thin consistency is mainly for a Dutch pour, and a thick consistency is sometimes used for a ring pour or a bloom, which is a completely different mixing process. So you wouldn't be using flood flow trawl with a bloom. So here we are too thick. So I need to add some water and flow troll. Again, you want to mix it thoroughly. Now, if you make your paint too thin, it's not a problem. You can add more of the tube paint and it'll thicken this right up whereas adding water 
thins it out. You don't want to use too much water as it will break down the binders and the paint. But I think we're at a very nice consistency now. They say it should look like warm honey or melted ice cream, but I think those terms are very difficult and arbitrary. So what we're going to talk about today is trace. And what you do is you take your paint and you trace it around along itself. And it should take one to two seconds for the mound to incorporate into the paint. If it takes longer, your paint's too thick. And if it just falls right into your paint, your paint is too thin. So here I have a one to two second trace, which is exactly what we want. And we're ready to paint. One thing I'd really like to point out is that if you're not ready to mix your own paints, you can buy pre-mixed paints that are ready to pour. This is Artist Loft by Michaels. It's my favorite, um, but there are, are other brands out there. So if you're not ready to mix your own paints, which at some point you will be because you want to do your own custom colors, um, this is a good place to start. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out.